All ready to start learning how to take bank card payments using Stripe and PHP? Well, let's start out with a brief introduction to the course content. Our focus is to make use of the Stripe multiple device checkout form. You can use it to do a lot of the heavy lifting for e-commerce. For example, you will not need to keep any sensitive customer payment data on your servers. Stripe also has a robust API. You can use it with PHP as well as with other languages. The course starts with how to set up the development environment to use Stripe. If you have an up-to-date PHP web server running at your disposal, you are just about all set. But if not, we will outline all that you need to have one in place. You may know that a digital certificate is expected for e-commerce. We will make recommendations depending on your goals, but do not panic as you can follow the course without one. You also will be needing a Stripe account. We will walk you through all of what you need to set one up for the course, and also we will cover that for live deployment. Then you learn about the Stripe checkout form from the user's experience. We will go behind the scenes to see just how the banking data approval works. You also experience what it is like to be a Remember Me customer. This is a neat Stripe feature that lets customers save their banking data for your website. Then we will do some coding using the Stripe API. We do that through the free library that Stripe provides to PHP developers. As we do, we will learn how to use the Stripe PHP library documentation. All the possible requests and responses are described there. This includes all the data sent and returned by the Stripe servers. We also make a point to follow the data to the Stripe servers and back. We do that with the Stripe dashboard. This will increase your effectiveness when testing and troubleshooting. And we finish with an integrated working example. It may not look like much, but it has all the components and the framework that you can build upon. This course is for the newcomer to PHP, Stripe, and web development. If you have some light experience with all these technologies, you should be good to go. But we intend to work professionally, so everything you learn has a good foundation in best practices and usefulness. And yes, that includes testing our work as we go. And if you find something that you need help on, do not hold back, no matter how insignificant you think it is. Often others may have the same need, and it helps us all by sharing. Well, that's our first wrap. Take a look at the instruction guide to get a sense for how the course files are organized and presented. See you at the next session.